dried out some time later loads of faults and that's good because this stuff sinks and contracts and falls back into all the little holes and crevices and gives me a chance to fill them up and sand them back so let's get stuck in no time like the present welcome back this backs and forwards backs and forwards that's sanded out all the lumps and I don't want to go any lower than that because you start exposing the welds which is what I molded in the first place so now I've just got just little holes little dimples can't really see like that just little things like that one there and they just have to be filled with just a little wipe of filler better that than sand all that down and expose the bare metal and just rub off all you did it just needs a little bit of consideration uh, one little dimple and that's perfect across there but one little dimple there just a little dimple tried to sand hang on here we are tried to sand that little dimple out and I've just exposed the metal so just a little tiny wipe over that that's all this is just this kind of midway section Tiny little bit of filler, fill all the little blemishes, let it dry and start sanding again. It's going to be about five hours this one. Here we go. <laughs>
Right, there we go. Um, seven coats in the end of that thick, tough black. It's really good stuff. It doesn't go off rock hard like regular paint. It kind of goes off like the old plastic coating, you know, the old stove enamel in from years ago. It, it sets like, it's the stuff you put on bumpers and winches and crash bars and that sort of thing. It doesn't actually need primer. It goes straight on bare metal, but the primer's there to give that smooth finish. And that is a really, really nice finish. It won't be gloss when it's done. They'll dry out satin black, which is what we wanted. And then we're gonna put something grippy on the front, either some bed liner or some rubber matting or something I don't know yet. Haven't made the decision, just need to leave those to dry. You know, it is drying times and all that. Four or five days that's gonna to need to go off completely so we can maul them around and bang them on the bike and then set the little chap on them, see what he thinks. I'm really, really pleased with them, really am. It's been four, four videos, short project, in between everything else, love that sort of thing. Takes you away from the big build, gives you time to clear your head, gives you something fun and creative to do and I've really, really advanced my welding on this one because I'm welding super thick stuff so I've learned a lot in this project and that's what it's all about. If you don't know how to do it, learn it, then you do. Ain't odd, is it? All right, there we go. I'm gonna leave those to dry. I'm gonna go out for a little ride because it's a Saturday afternoon and it's too good to stand in the garage all day. Thanks for watching, take it easy, ride safe. See you next time. Mm -hmm.